Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I created these black and pink, dark, kind of gothic type of vibe set. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The tips that I have on are acrylic creameries, 3XL square tips, and then I'll be using their acrylic in the color strawberry as well. And I'll be using Zule's black hole. And then last but not least, as always, me and Secrets cover pink. I have been waiting to show you guys these nails. I did, you guys always see my videos probably a few weeks, maybe to a month later because like I film a bunch of videos like back to back and I'm only one person so I can't like edit them all like that quick. So you guys see them a little bit late and I've just been waiting to show you guys how I did these nails right here. Um, I'm going in on the ring finger nail with me Secrets Cover Pink. I like to go in with the nudes and the lighter colors first just so that I don't get any like like dark colors um, such as the black or like any glitters like caught into the nude or anything like that. So I'm going in with the nude first on this finger right here. And actually majority of the nails will be nude. I think the only two black ones will be the thumb and the pinky nail like the base of them rather. Also, as always, I am using Nail House's size 16 Kalinsky brush as well as their monomer. And you can find the link to Nail House's site in the description below. And you can use my code Portia for a discount on your order, as well as you can find the link to Zule's shop and Acrylic Creamy's shop in the description below as well. Okay, so question. You guys have been seeming to be loving my longer videos. Um, I think you guys will love this one because it's about an hour long, a little over an hour long. And I wanted to know, like, do you guys like that I show my acrylic like application a little bit slower than usual? Or would you rather it be like more sped up and like, you know, let me that let me know that in the comment section below. I pretty much know what most of you might say and page anyway <laughs> but, but um yeah let me know that in the comment section below if you guys like the speed that the acrylic application is at or would you like it to be like a little faster and also if you're like a long video person or would you rather like see quick videos like quick nail videos
Okay, so this is how those two nails are looking with just the nude. I forgot that those are the only two I did like plain nude and that I went in on the middle finger with an ombre with a color creamy's new acrylic powder and the color strawberry. I love this color so much. It's a very pretty pink color. Um did y'all hear that yeah acrylic creamery dropped their new acrylic powders y'all have been asking for the longest and waiting and so have i but they dropped a few new colors um i think they may be dropping some more soon but i'm not really really sure but i believe this one is out um already i do have a swatch video coming for you guys soon with the collection but yeah so run over to acrylic creamery y'all and get the new acrylic powders they are so pretty as well as the formula is bomb of course um but yeah, this one here is the new color strawberry and I love it. So yeah, I'm just going in on this nail with an ombre with that color. And as you guys see, when I do an ombre nail, I like to swipe the color upward so that when I lay the next color down, it blends like seamlessly and um, it doesn't have like that harsh line. Also, you guys can find the link to a color creamy's shop in the description below. All right, so now I'm just taking a Macy Grits cover pink and I'm ombre that nail. Another key to working with ombre in a nice blend is to work a little bit wetter than usual. Um, and you want to swipe gently. Like you don't want to swipe so hard. You want to just blend those two colors together. And again, it works a lot easier if the previous color was blended upward, you know, kind of like ombre on its own before you lay the other color down so that they blend like almost or not even almost so they so they do blend seamlessly you can see i'm just using small beads you know making the um nail really really thin because i will be capping it in clear that is another thing as well for my beginners or for those who just doesn't know you want to not focus on building up your nail with your pigments and all of that if you're in like making the whole nail you know like a cover color nude or whatever like if it's cover acrylic then that is fine to build the nail up um i mean you can do whatever you want but i'm just saying like i prefer to build my nail very thinly with the pigment so that i don't number one like you know waste my pigments number two you want that strength with the nail so you want to cap it and clear always unless like i said it's a cover acrylic you want to always encapsulate it and clear to build up that strength and thickness of your nail and so that you don't waste your pigments. That goes for the same as glitter. Like um, you wanna always encapsulate the nail with clear unless like I said, it's a cover color and you um, are making that full nail a cover color but you can also cap cover colors as well but you know you guys know what i'm saying essentially cover powders which is your nudes and all of those kind of things are the only acrylics that can go uncapped other than that they all have to be encapsulated with clear All right, so now I'm gonna go in on the middle fingernail and cap that ombre, and then I'm gonna move on to the black nails. And like I said, the reason I did the black nails last is because I didn't want to get it into my monomer and then it get it into the other acrylic powders because it will show like through the monomer being black and all of that.
all right so now i'm gonna go in with the black on the pinky and thumbnail um i'm gonna be again doing those very thinly because i'm gonna be capping it in clear acrylic and again for any who just missed it or whatever the black acrylic is a black hole from zule's nail shop and you can find the link to all of the shops i mentioned in the description box below Also, y'all, real quick, because I just thought about it, because I'm using this color here, um, the giveaway to, you know, like the small giveaway that I'm doing with the with Zule's powders, um, a couple of extras that I had, I wanted to give them away. It's, um, I think, it's in that video with the swatches. Um, I'm giving away this color, Black Hole, here, and then a couple other ones, like a fog glitter and a... Um, you know, just a couple of acrylic powders that I'm giving away. And that giveaway will be over this, uh, what, Friday, the 14th. Um, yeah, so I'm just telling any of you who are interested in joining to, you can go enter that giveaway on that video. And you can look in the um, description and or watch the video, of course, um, to see what, what I'm giving away as well as the instructions to enter. But I'm just telling you guys that in Friday, if you guys want to check it out before it does, um, before it is over. And the, the giveaway winners will be chosen at random and I will be announcing them the following week in like the next video that I post after Friday. If you're watching this too and you did enter that giveaway, be on the lookout. Like, you know, like stay tuned for my video so that you can know if you won or not. Because I did forget to tell you guys to leave your contact information, but it's okay. Uh, if you guys watch my videos and you will see like in one of the videos, the title will be something like announcing giveaway winners um 
And if you're like, you know, you should be a subscriber and then you should be watching anyway. So I will be announcing them. And like, like I said, one of the videos after this Friday, um, so you can be listen, looking out for your names. You did win. It's just going to be one, of course, one winner. Um, but if you, like I said, go over to that video. If you, um, have not entered if you want to enter it and yeah right now i'm just going to be capping these two black nails and then we're going to move on to shaping and filing so that we can get into this design
all right y'all this is how the application is looking all complete um the thing about that middle nail and that pink is that it kind of like is not so noticeable because it is like a lighter pink but i did want it to match with the you know the hello kitty theme and like i like my colors to match with what i'm doing i could have done a hot pink because i did kind of incorporate a little bit of hot pink in the nails which i didn't know i was going to initially do but yeah like i said it doesn't it didn't quite you guys will see how it didn't quite show up but it did at the same time um yeah anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and shape and file the nails now i like to start with filing my nails um the surface of them then underneath the nails because that's important for your shape as well um and then the sides followed by the tip and then still in the cuticle you guys again when i end up shaping tutorial you can check the video out on my channel and it is linked in the description below as well Also, I wanted to mention, I mean, I don't really care, but I'm just saying, like, I know that my desk look a little crazy, like, uh, with the dried up monomer spills and the, just a whole lot of stuff going on on that table, but, um, it's a plastic covering over it. I don't know if I showed you guys in this video or, like, one of the upcoming ones, but it's just a plastic covering that tends to get really, like, messy with, like I said, dried up monomer spills, stuck paper towels and polish and all kind of stuff that be on the desk, um... So I know it looks a little crazy, but um, I am going to show you guys because that's like a little tip as well. Like if you want to keep your desk, like the desk itself in like tip top shape, um, I'm going to show you guys the plastic covering that I use over it. That You can't even probably tell that I have a plastic covering over the table or, or maybe you can because it is a little shiny. But anyways, anyways, I'm going to show you guys in one of these videos. I also did switch it out because I was kind of getting tired of like looking at it and like feeling it because it is like a little rough because it is like like I said dried up spills stuck paper towels polish all kind of stuff that I be you know dealing with nails with so yeah also I don't really know like y'all ever see those videos where like nail techs or nail enthusiasts or whatever like their nail desk be like um like scratchless it, like it be spotless like I don't understand how they keep it like that because like I kind of heard this one thing was like if your desk or your supplies or whatever like y'all know how we be having like gel on our lamps and stuff <laughs> like if they said if it don't look like nothing like if it's nothing on it then you don't be doing nothing for real and i think that's kind of true because like how it, how is your table like spotless scratchless all of that um with like no covering over or none of that like that means you don't be or you like very very careful and i, I get that like you know but i be like you know trying to get it done so i ain't you know paying attention to all of that but anyways y'all i'm gonna let you guys finish watching me um shape and file these nails and then we're gonna move into the design oh also as you guys can see i am using my girl's zule's hand files i think in a grid 80 by 100 i love these nail files y'all check out her website and her supplies because like if y'all haven't this far i really don't know what's going on and <laughs> and um the the drill that you guys see me using is an extra fine 5 in 1 that I got from Amazon. You guys can find it in my Amazon storefront. And um, I like to use that too, as you guys can see, straighten the tips of my nails as well as still in my cuticles. The RPM that I use it to straighten the tips of my nails is probably like anywhere between 15 and 20. It's probably sometimes 25 if I'm like trying to hurry up and rush so that I can be like faster. And then the RPM that I use it at when I'm still in my cuticles is anywhere between 8 and 10 RPM, like no higher than 10.
all right y'all so this is how the nails are looking all shaped and filed super crisp like i like it and now i'm gonna go and buff the nails clean them off dust them off wipe them off and then we're gonna move into the design all right y'all so let's get into these designs so i didn't initially know exactly what like recently y'all know i've just been freestyling like i know i wanted to do hello kitty pink black but i didn't know exactly like what designs i was going to do i know that all of these were cute and it's what i wanted to incorporate into the nails that is all i knew so we got a bunch of different charms here some hello kitty charms um a bunch of different kind we got some crosses some pearls some silver ones and pink ones we got some small little hello kitty charms in these what um kurami charms little black ones that look like a hello kitty a little bit but it's kurami and then we have some chain some of these little um things right here the names didn't come into my head right now which i know a little game we used to play when we was younger that's what these remind me of like i can't think of the name right now um and then we have some of these um charms right here like some moons hearts stars um like little pearl type of charms just a bunch of different charms y'all we got going on right here i don't know how i'm gonna use them yet well in the video i didn't and yeah so but i'm gonna go in with um madame glam's perfect black to create a french on the first nail that we'll be working on and a couple of more colors but i'm just going to be using that perfect black as of right now on the nail that i'll be working on so i don't normally do my frenches like this but for some reason in this at this moment in the video i felt inclined to so um that is just what i did and yeah So after I painted the nail up to where I kind of wanted my French to um to be, um, I just took my liner brush and y'all this line <laughs> every time I talk about this liner brush, it's so funny. Um because it is bent and y'all talk about it all the time. But um you guys can see that the hairs are starting to like kind of get out of control. Um and you guys will see at a part in this video that kind of was like annoying me and kind of get it in the way of what I was trying to do. I honestly think it's probably getting time for another one um because instead of it being like bent now it's kind of making like a u and it's kind of um getting a little annoying i'm not gonna lie and this brush like i didn't bend it on purpose it got like that over time because it's my go-to brush and that's just how it got over time but um i think i maybe get a new one pretty soon here i don't know and if and when i get a new one it's going to be the same brush like the same exact one um because i love this brush like i i just like it um and if you guys don't know if you're new here then this brush is from amazon and you can find it in my amazon storefront in a set of um nine different size brushes this one is very good though i love this one it's my go-to as you can see obviously i use it for my frenches so um yeah i just completed that french right there cured it for 60 seconds and now i'm going to wipe this off and again to apply um Oh, actually, I'm, I'm going to apply some more because that one was kind of like getting sticky. Sometimes when I put my hand in the lamp, that the polish on the ring kind of cured a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of wiped that off. And the ring is from Shein. Anyways, I'm going to go in on the middle finger nail with a flame design. And this is the part where I told you guys it was kind of getting annoying, like the brush, the way, the way it is right now. And then like the little hair is sticking out and not like straight. It's just like kind of annoying and it kind of messed me up a lot on this flame um but it's cool like i eventually kind of got it a little bit together i also have not perfected my flame like as to how i want it to look i'm i'm working on that like um and when i watch this video back like be watching it i can see where i kind of went wrong a little bit with the flame um you know just like little minor things for the most part it came out really cute but i had to go up go back a lot of times as you guys will see and kind of clean it up a little bit um and all of that but i like i said i haven't perfected it yet but me watching it back i can see what i did a little bit wrong and yeah i'm gonna work on it but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys just finish watching me do this flame
Also, sorry that I'm a little bit out of frame. I was so focused on this flame that I, I didn't look up at the camera at all. Normally, I do to see if it, I'm still in frame, but um, I was so focused on this flame. It was the nail was so close to my face, and I was just so focused. Focused, I didn't even realize that I was kind of out of frame. So sorry about that, guys. But for the most part, you can see what I'm doing. Also, this brush right here is my new go-to like brush, like gel brush and cleanup brush. Um, this one right here is a brush that I got from Zule's Nails Shop. Zule's Nail Shop. Um, they come in a set of like four or five brushes as well. Super dope gel brushes, liner brushes, all of that. Painting gel brushes. Like they're so dope. I really love them. It's one of the best, or it's like the best kind of like um gel brushes that i've like come across so far i highly recommend that if you guys have not tried them to try them and again that's zule's nail shop you can find the link to her site in the description below oh and also as you can see this is one of her brushes as well that come in that set of gel brushes i'm just using this to fill it in um and the smaller areas All right, y'all. So this is how it's looking so far. Um, I'm going to move on to the next nail, but I later went back to that flame and outlined it in pink. I told y'all I was freestyling this and I just kind of, you know, made up things as I went along. And I feel like an uh, outline to that flame will look really cute. So I did end up doing that later. But right now I am working on the index finger nail doing a French and I'm doing that same thing that I did for the other one. Um, I don't know if I found this quicker or if I just, I don't know why I had an inkling to do this, my French this way in this video, but that's the way I did it and um yeah gonna go ahead and let you guys finish watching me do this little french here and you will see that it didn't come out so perfect um or I, I didn't really care like it was it was good for the most part it was just like one small tiny little dot dot that you you guys probably didn't even notice but i did on the left side when i got done with it but i said hey it doesn't matter um i kind of left it there on purpose because i knew that i would be covering up the french at this point with some like charms so yeah Also, y'all, um, I wanted to say that someone asked in the comments if I could do a French tutorial, like acrylic and gel, um, and I'm up for it. It's just that I guess with the um, gel French, I can't quite, I don't really know. I can't quite explain it because I don't have a particular way I do the French um to be honest it just comes easy to me like i know some people they draw it out like with the little lines and whatever they do but i literally take my brush from like the side wall of the cuticle to the other side and i just kind of clean it up as i go like along as you guys can see me doing here and just until i feel like it looks right i don't have like no particular secret m method to it it just honestly kind of comes like easy to me i i don't know i can't really describe it um but I can do a tutorial on that as well as the acrylic French if you guys want me to. But I don't really know how I'm going to explain to you guys the gel French. Because like I said, I don't do um, anything particular with it. So yeah, let me know if you guys want that tutorial in the comment section below. I can definitely do acrylic French for you guys, like a tutorial. But I mean, as well as you guys can see me do the French in every video as well as I do acrylic Frenches a lot too. But um I guess I'll do one and I'll just try my best to explain, especially the gel French. Anyways, guys, like I was telling you um, a little bit before was that I was going to outline this flame design in some pink. Um, I'm using that same pink that I did on the, well, it's the same pink. I think it's the same pink um, on the index fingernail. And did I say which one that was? I don't know. I don't know if I said it, but I believe it's ballet from, it's ballet from Nail House um yeah so like i told you guys earlier i did have like a little trouble outlining this flame um yeah i had probably a lot of trouble not a little but a lot of trouble because of the brush hairs and i could have switched the brush easily but i also think it was me as well because i'm not used to like outlining things so um 
yeah it took me a little a little while to outline that flame i think if i would have known that i wanted to outline the flame initially i would have gone in on the base with the pink like the whole flame pink and then i want to one inside the flame and like made it black if that makes sense um the next time i do a flame and i outline it i will show you guys exactly what i mean and maybe that will be easier for me but that was kind of tough that's why i kind of um skipped past it because a lot of the time I was out of frame, like basically the whole time I was out of frame because I was so focused and the nail was so close to my face because I was so focused and um, on trying to get that flame right. And I just kept um, having to like clean it up and keep going around and all of that. Anyways, y'all. So I'm going in, I'm top coating the nails that are, um, that are ready for the design on top because I don't want to... Um, put any glue or anything like that on the gel because I don't want it to be ruined so I just went ahead and top coated the nails stuck them in the lamp for 60 seconds and then I brought them out to um finish the designs also do you guys see what I mean with that metal fingernail where I said that the pink didn't show as much it especially didn't show that much once I put the black over it because it was kind of like blended in with the nude because the nude is almost like a nude pink and then that pink was very light but you can kind of see it but not quite um you can't see it right now as I'm top coating this nail but you guys will see and maybe maybe see what I'm talking about or maybe you guys can see the pink more than I can I'm not sure anyways we're going in now with the remaining design starting with the pinky I so okay so I initially like um was like what I'm gonna do with this pinky nail and I'm like a plaid nail would be really cute like I've been wanting to do a plaid nail recently like a pink plaid nail or something like that so um I thought that it would be really cute over black so I you know begin with the plaid nail or whatever with my little lines and stuff I don't really know how to draw a plaid nail I just kind of went, went in with some lines of different colors and going across and all of that this one right here, the hot pink color is Barbie Girl from Madam Glam. Y'all know how I feel about Madam Glam. You guys can use my code Porsche30 as well if you shop Madam Glam um, for 30% off your order. As well as you can find the link to that site in the description below. Um, but yeah, so I went in with a plaid design on this pinky nail. And then I ended up covering it up with um, some charms. Which I also thought like when I went along with it that it would be really cute um, anyway. So yeah. y'all see what i mean with this brush and these hairs like it's annoying me and it was messing up my lines a little bit a little bit <laughs> it was messing up my lines a little bit um but i eventually kind of got it a little bit together i kind of just put it in some acetone and kind of flattened it out on the paper towel a little bit but yeah y'all i think i'm going to just be um ordering a new brush pretty soon here the same one but a new one so it's going to be like you know a little better oh as well, let me know if you guys have ever tried the method where you dip your brushes, like the ruined ones or whatever, like the old ones, hair flying everywhere and all of that, into hot water, like boiling hot water, I guess. I guess that's worked for, for some people. I have never tried it. I have saved like a billion brushes over the years to do that exact thing because I've heard it like works well, but I've never, I just haven't done it yet. I I have no idea why I haven't done it yet, y'all. Like I literally, literally have like... I don't know. I've been through so many different acrylic brushes when I was a beginner, but um, they're not that bad. So I probably have like at least 10 of them um, or maybe a little more like sitting off to the side where I do want to fix them up a little bit to see if that to see if I dip them in hot water, like boiling hot water, that it will like revive it or whatever. Let me know if you guys have tried that method in the comment section below. Um, and if it works for you guys, I'm definitely going to try it. All right, y'all. So like I said, I'm just drawing like random little lines, nothing, you know, special to it with different colors. And I top coated it and then I moved on to the next design. But I'll let you guys go ahead and watch it. And then we're going to come back.
all right y'all so this is how it's looking so far like i said i did just go up with these things as i went along so i kind of like you know was getting charms out putting it on the nail see how it looks without you know gluing it down just seeing you know what would look right where because i don't like you know i like everything to be in place where exactly i want it and see if it looks right so i'm just you know seeing what things look okay and of course i'm going in with my zoolay blanket adhesive and i didn't start off with that pinky nail because i wasn't really sure exactly what yet so i went ahead and skipped to the index fingernail and i just began to put like random little charms on there also um with these little pro shapes right here i just pulled out some because these are as you can see like they're like ombre yellow like some weird kind of colors and i was just trying to find the ones that were more pink than yellow um so that's what i did there and then i began to do a design on the index fingernail All right, y'all. So, um, because I know that you guys are going to be curious and want to know and stuff like that, um, I'm going to be telling you guys where I got some of this stuff from. However, I won't be sharing direct links because I do share those like direct links and other like exclusive things with those of my members from my subscription on Instagram. Um, but I can tell you guys where I got them from. And also, y'all, I promise it's not um, some things, but I promise like pretty much all of these things are not so hard to find if you look on these sites that i'm going to be telling you guys where they are from now the little pearl heart um star and moon those kind of little shapes there are from aliexpress and then these hello kitty charms right here in that grid i got a while back from the attitude shop that shop is on instagram um that's where i found them the attitude shop um and then what else these little pearls here the little pink ones are from shein if you guys watch a lot of and that that's another thing too if you guys have seen a, a lot of my hauls um a lot of these products are in those hauls the shein hauls aliexpress hauls i kind of stopped doing those for a couple of different reasons one because people weren't really watching them two because um you know these are like big large businesses that you know are not i like to support small businesses more no shade to them or not to say i won't do it but that's just kind of my reasoning behind it um as well as yeah i just kind of strayed away from those like um those kind of hauls with she and aliexpress and all of that um anyways yeah so then these little these little jack that's the name of it i think the game was like jack and something i don't know those these little things right here little cross looking things with the little balls on the end of them those are from aliexpress as well um and then those little hello kitty charms aliexpress the most majority of the things i get are from aliexpress i'm not even gonna hold y'all um as well as this um kirami charm right there like and then those little planet charms i believe i got from i think i got those from aliexpress as well no she and ibd gel from amazon um yeah, yeah i kind of get the gym um and like i said again the reason i don't share the um direct links is because for one um well to sum it up i i share those exclusive links with my subscribers on instagram they pay you know a fee monthly for my subscription and they get exclusive content as far as like um haven't started doing lives yet but they will get lives they will get um exclusive links to where i get products from they will get exclusive posts stories um they will be able to private chat with me personally they will um and then like group chats and things and group chats and things like that and it is not fair to them to you know be sharing the links where i get things from like specifically um 
but I promise y'all, like I said, it's not hard to find these things. You just have to type them in and you'll find them. They'll, they'll, they'll come up. I think telling y'all the site is enough. And then plus going through, that's another thing too, plus going through every single, like, you know, every single thing that I buy and find out all the links to all of these things is kind of much. So that's why I kind of do it exclusively for my subscription, um, my subscription on Instagram for my subscribers there. Um, because they do pay monthly a fee to have access to all of those different things. And like I said, an IG subscription is just that. Um, like I said, they get exclusive content, posts, lives, stories, links. They be able to, they're able to chat with me, message me about whatever, um, group chats, all of those kind of things. If you guys want to join my subscription on Instagram and get all of the exclusive content, then you can. If you guys don't know my Instagram, I don't even know what you're doing, but my Instagram is the same as my YouTube, at Portia Nailed It. You guys can follow me there, and the subscription little button is right there, like on my profile. You can click it and then subscribe to my IG channel. And like I said, my members there on my um, and my subscription on Instagram, they do pay a monthly fee um, of just $9.99 to get all of those, you know, all of that exclusive content so if you guys want to join there you can but um yeah anyways y'all as y'all can see i am just um you know freestyling these looks just a placing just a placing just placing these charms and stuff um you know randomly like where i think it will fit and look right and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch
all right y'all so i'm making this one well they're all kind of like a little bit like junk nails but I'm, I'm making this one like a real junk nail and i wanted to place this little chain on the nail and it was a little bit difficult because once it touched the glue it kind of already started drying onto the chain which made it like stiff in some areas and i wasn't able to get it on there exactly how i wanted it to um but i did get it on there and it still came out cute and just in case any of you um forgot i am using of course duh as always my zule bling adhesive to apply all of these things to the nail I, um i did only use my ibd gel for that big black charm the karami one or whatever however you pronounce it um i did use it for that one only because it's a lot bigger and i wanted it to um I just wanted to, I just wanted it to use, I just wanted to use it for that one. However, I could have applied the Zule Bling Adhesive to do that as I have um, applied plenty of large charms with Zule Bling Adhesive. I just did it with the IBD gel so it could, I guess though the process can go a little quicker um, and I could just carry on with the rest of the designs with Karen and the light. So y'all, right after this set here, I did do a second Hello Kitty set, um, which I can't, which I'm super excited for you guys to see as well. And I already started editing that video um, to get it up for you guys. Um, yeah, I want to do like a thousand Hello Kitty sets now. Since I did that first one, I want to just keep going with Hello Kitty sets. Like, I love Hello Kitty. They are so cute. And at this very moment in the video or like at this very moment in time while i'm talking i already posted this setup on instagram and they are loving them and yeah um comment in the comment section below if you are here for more hello kitty sets or well if you're not i really don't care but you know <laughs> only my non-supporters will say they don't want more or don't care you know but y'all y'all get what i'm saying anyways gonna go ahead i'm just placing these charms like i said randomly on the nails wherever i feel like they fit and look right um i did end up covering that plaid on the nails which like i told you guys um wasn't my initial plan but then i was like i'm sure it still look cute and it really did still look cute with the plaid in the background with the little lines i think it was a really really cute background for that junk nail also y'all did not mention that these little crosses here like the grid of crosses that the lid i just broke um i just broke one of the lids on there a few seconds ago as you guys saw that grid of cross charms right there i got from amazon you guys can probably find it in my amazon storefront i i don't think i'm not really sure if it's there but if it isn't there all you have to do is um i have to do is search on amazon something like punk cross charm something like that and it'll pop up but um yeah oh and then of course you're gonna say four nails but anyway um I'm going to go in on the last nail, which is the thumb here. And um, I know I can see a bunch of little scratches on the thumb. I'll be going hard with the nail file, y'all. Um, I should have... I think I did this before, too. Like, you guys... I don't know if you guys will probably see it, like, once I apply the top coat or whatever. But since I put the... For some reason, when I put glue before top coat, the scratches can show through the glue. Yeah, I'm not really sure why, but... Um, anyways, I just went ahead and applied some of the, those same charms to the thumbnail. Um, you know, incorporating the same charms that I use across the other nails because I wanted to, of course, match and like, you know, correlate. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to spray it. I don't know if you guys saw, but after I am applying the glue to all of the nails and I'm pretty much done with the nail, I do spray it me secret activator spray as always so that the glue can just dry like quicker. Um, and then I'm going to top coat the nail and I'm, then I'm going to insert the final results for you guys.
all right y'all um, this is how the nails are looking they are so super cute and i wanted to mention too but i'm sure you guys know what i mean when i say that every time i say i'm going to enter the final results although you guys see the final results right now it's like you guys know what i mean like my final footage like my little footage that i take and i don't know if you guys can see they're peeking through that thumbnail you can see like the scratches underneath where i applied the glue when i apply the top coat to the nail the rest of the nail is fine you can just see the scratches through the glue on the nail and the spots that i placed the glue and i'm not really sure why but i mean black shows up like that but it's just in a spot where the glue is if that makes sense y'all i really don't know why anyways y'all this is how they are looking so cute i'm loving this big karami charm right here it's like glitter inside of it i love it and another one of my favorite colors besides blue is black i love black like to the death of me <laughs> and i'm just loving these nails y'all i don't normally do kawaii nails i don't care for kawaii nails and all of that extraness but i will do hello kitty any day because i have loved hello kitty forever anyways y'all here are the final results this is how they came out y'all they came out so cute definitely one of my top faves along with the gold outline nails previous to this one i love these so much y'all like i love them i don't even have any more words if you guys enjoyed this video and love these nails as much as i do please be sure to give this video a thumbs up do not forget because like i said those likes and the views do not be added up so don't forget to like y'all and the ones in the premiere and watching as well don't forget to go back and comment on the video and show some love subscribe to my channel if you are not already don't know what's going on but yeah subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell notifications so that you are notified each and every single time your girl drop plus y'all do not want to miss these hello kitty nails that's coming up next but all right y'all thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now